Hello, my name is Trevi. And I'm Kate. And welcome back to our podcast called Six Feet Above. Um, <laughs> er, 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 upgrade. Hello. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're listening on audio, you're missing you're out. You're missing the fuck out. You've never seen us in this lighting. You've never seen my cleavage like this. Uh, literally, it looks out of this world. Yeah. No, I'm like actually so happy we're switching up the set a little bit. We got yeah. some uh, nasty comments but they, they were, were so nice no, they though. were literally it was just constructive criticism i dream for those type of like hate comments that aren't no, even hate yeah. comments and you know what this is proof we listen to your comments absolutely they're like one of them was like it's such a dark set everything's right. all black behind you mm -hmm. and you guys are like so bubbly and we're it's like, like floating yeah you're no but it's they're like saying like it just seems like it would be a, like a dark like sad or like emotional addiction podcast and right. it's like no like we are the light like we mm -hmm. are the bubbliness we are so i'm really so, yeah we listen to you we're, we yeah we're gonna we're we doing our big you. one yeah yeah so <laughs> i sobbed on the way here like so actually you did and I your did. makeup looks amazing so i don't know how the first thing i did i run into this building this where we film is like in a building obviously mm. hello so true <laughs> i ran straight to the bathroom assuming that my blush my everything would just be like streaks boots right and i don't know someone needs to call like a makeup artist agency or something mm -hmm. to get me on the roster because right. i am a makeup artist i i have i guess just a way of bulletproofing yeah what is it it was no like i'm not kidding it wasn't like a <gasps> like and i was like right. able, no it wasn't like my makeup that one oh, episode man, yeah. Yeah. Was that, that you were listening to? That was to? my face. No, that oh. was my face. It was like, like a river. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? I used to be my workout song. Really? Yeah. Wow, we love Bishop Briggs. Mm -hmm. Love you, girl. That happened. You know what it was? And what? for the listeners who listen to every episode, it was the same driver who had the really good sound system mm. that I was like, oh, shit, I feel like I'm going to cry to landslide right now. Right. You know, me, I kind of hop towards uh, things that could be disastrous. So it's like, I knew that man's car stereo would make me cry. Wow. So I like got his business card and then, right. you know, yeah. was said, hey, come pick me up. Uh-huh. And you bet your bottom dollar, I played only sad music the entire Girl, time. Girl, why? Why like, do I don't I, get it? I started off with like Motivation by Normani. I started right. off with like Brooke Candy's new album. I started off with like all this fun stuff. Yeah. And I was just like, it was like making me like really anxious. Like sometimes when I was just like, coming here sometimes just makes me anxious just because it's a whole thing. We spend, you know, hours getting ready and just like mm -hmm. knowing that like, I'm going to, like, once I leave the house, I'm going to be out all night. You're not coming back. You're not coming back, right? <laughs> so it's just, like, this whole, like, big thing. And it's, like, we're yeah. trying to make it here at the time that we film. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes late, of course. We were both late today. Yeah. yeah. I think that, like, I get less anxious when I feel more in tune with my emotions. Like, do okay. you... Okay. Yeah. You can understand that. That, that was an okay, like... Okay, okay, like I, I'm understanding I'm you. I'm so that. defensive. I'm oh my so god! You're like, shut up. No, I'm sorry. Um, no, because that was me last week. We had to switch. No, we did. Somebody had <laughs> anything to, you said. I was like, what? Some, somebody had to take on the role. <laughs> no, I I totally agree, and it's the way I just forgot what you just. So said. I'm just saying, yeah. when I get in touch with my emotions, or listen to an emotional song, or even let out a tear or seventeen, mm -hmm. I just like it makes me feel not only like relief, mm -hmm. but like. I, I just I felt more centered. Like yeah. sometimes I feel a little wacky coming on like on the way here. Like right. it's like you know I'm a Celsius and a half deep. Yeah. You know Absolutely. You know I just like put glitter all over my right. chest and I'm like running in my heels around my yeah. house spraying perfume. You're huffing that vape. Down that yeah. fing house. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I um we were just talking about this on FaceTime before. Like the ride to this podcast is so important to get in the right headspace. Yes. And I think it's good that you lean into whatever emotion you're feeling. Cause you know, if I sent you my playlist, what's it gonna be? Yeah. Uh, Megan. It's gonna be stallion. Boa on repeat. Yeah, and just, that <laughs> might give you anxiety. But for me, I'm just like coming here, I'm going the yeah. appropriate speed limit, maybe like one octave higher. Right. And I'm just octave. going hiss Calling and boa. Speed limits <laughs> octaves is really funny. Hiss and boa, like back to back, and then I'm ready. Right. No, no matter what, I'll never listen to a sad song on I the see, way here because yeah. then I'll cry. 
But like, I don't know. I just, I for me, I just, I feel like it, it helps me because I obviously was like needing to like get that out. Cause well, like, yeah, you I'm don't here. be crying. But I do love like a boppity bop 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 station. Oh nation. yeah. When we hang out after this, it's gonna be only bops. Tick tock tick tock tick. So guys, if you are falling asleep or driving, go listen to the audio version because that'll just be easier for you. It is in the description. Before we continue this episode, we are getting more views than we have subscribers. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. That's a slay. That's great. Great. We love the engagement, but can you click that damn button and subscribe and then click the bell next to it so you get a notification every time a new episode comes out? Well, how was your week? Girl, it was a week. I just stopped talking. <laughs> and that's all we yeah, have. And we're going to go now. Um, you know what's crazy? And I don't want to get all woo woo, but this week has tested me in numerous ways. And listen, if you're atheist, if you believe in God, if you believe in a higher power, like I I love that. I would never judge. Um, I personally believe in a higher power. Like I picture Artemis, that Greek goddess. Just the artist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I like, like, I like the way, the way you kiss me. me. Anyways, I pray to her and I just talk to her and I really feel like she's given me a lot of things this week that I could only handle right now. Like oh. if the if this week happened to me two years ago, I would have relapsed. I would have either like gone off the rails. Right. I would have freaked out. I would not right. be in a good headspace right now. Like I would be freaking out. Yeah. And I think the same for me in the past couple of weeks. Like, yeah. I don't think I'd I just, relapse. I just think I would handle it so right. much I would spiral. And I just felt really close to her this week, even though a lot of bad happened because I know she's got my back. Not to get woo woo. Right. But I just know she does. Like, yeah. Did the NBC thing come out? Mm, no. no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, just remember. Celibacy. Just remember, attack the comments. Right? <laughs> yeah. I kept This that... should be at Kate Laurentiis. I literally was so close to cutting that out. And I was like, no, no well, girl, f*** you. No, because how dare you take me off the show when I lied to you? How dare <laughs> you? No, but like. I'm, like, not, I'm like, allowed to lie to producers and major right. networks. Like, because you exist in the context. Okay. People. She just used Brooke Schofield's sound. My she did. Yeah. That my, is so wild. My friend is a part of the presidential election. But yeah, no, that was a. Uh, we're out here just making history. Like whether it's us or whether it's the people around us, like girl, we just have an impact. We do. Yeah. So I mean, it, like, granted, it definitely wasn't like Kamala. Like it was like some like Gen Z gay. Exactly. Like, yeah. I'd love <laughs> like, to see running the, the intern, TikTok, yeah, but I yeah, like yeah. I actually like just kind of like live for that higher. I love when politicians have a Instagram presence. I love when politicians turn to morticians, and yeah, die. And no what? mortician. Oh, I love the ones when politicians that... turn into Morticia Adams. Wait, they transitioned. Okay. <laughs> I don't There's even, a lot like, going on right is now. Is a mortician like someone who like picks apart dead bodies? I thought they make up. They Paige's beat, mom they is beat a them. Um, yeah, yeah. Face beat. Yeah. The dead bodies. Paige's mom is a mortician. No way. Yeah. Is that good money? Yeah. That's like more than I'm like. Wait, you just said you're a makeup artist. Why don't you like do mortician on the side? Mortician? Yeah. <laughs> You could make that's a buck. The, that's definitely the term, by the way. No, it's more tishing. No, it's like, do you ever just like tish morally? Yes. Yeah. It does sound like an interesting job. I think they literally get like a lot of money, like more really? than like a makeup by Ariel, more than like an Alexis Oakley beat, like mm -hmm. more wow. than like a, yeah. Why don't these makeup artists do that though? And why aren't, major makeup companies collabing with- yeah. Well, no, why aren't they collabing with mortician influencers? Okay. And why aren't there mortician influencers? But why? Because I'd follow in a heartbeat. I mean, would that even be, like, allowed on, like, you know, the yeah. main... Yeah. They'd be like, you can do a get ready with me, too. Like, imagine how disturbing it, it would be if you're, like, on your FYP. You're like, cute cat. Right. Oh, epic fail. Oh, that's a dead body. Honestly, yeah. I could see them doing that, like, on the dark web. Like, hi, guys. Yeah. My name is... What's, like, what would, like, a mortician influencer's name be? Like, Esmeralda. Like... My name is Esmeralda, I and I am here using the brand new NARS Makeup yes. Forever. It would so be NARS. HD foundation mm -hmm. on my new client. Um, rest in peace. And rest in peace. It's just like, it's like, could you imagine that? Yeah. So what are so, we talking So what are we actually- That's kind of cool. That's kind of an insane intro if you actually think about yeah, it. Yeah. Um, anyways. <laughs> Hashtag mortician influencer. <laughs> yeah. 
is actually beyond belief. Yeah. You know, we we really took away the darkness of right, the background, right. but we brought it really. Yeah, we brought it within. We brought it from within. Yeah. So. Yeah. Can you, you start talking? I'm begging. <laughs> well, I am talking. No, like shut me the f up. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're talking, and <laughs> we like can't seem to figure out what we're even saying. It's trickling down. Right. But at the same time, mm -hmm. we are performing in a way. But what's actually messed up is that we used to perform for the male gaze, and we were pick me's. And I wanted to talk to you today about ways in. Okay, the segue went crazy, so I don't even know why you're laughing. I want to talk to you today about the ways in which we used to be pick me's because I feel like a lot of women are former pick me's. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm like, see, this, this is good. a debate. I got the crying out. So now I'm yeah. like giggle city. No, that's great. But I know for a fact that you used to be a pick me. Oh, no shade. I was a pick me. Dare I say, maybe even Brie. Oh, I don't shit. know why I had to drag her into this like that. That was <laughs> crazy. I'm, I'm no like, and Kurt, no, okay. No. <laughs> um, so basically, we just need to say what we did so the young, impressionable people or the older people, there are older pick me's out there, can, oh, so many. <laughs> can find the patterns and stop. Because pick me. Because, 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 is. because. <laughs> we should honestly. Wonderful things he does. Da, 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 da. We're off to see the wizard. Okay. UMG. So, yeah. <laughs> Back what? again. So what are some ways in which you used to be a pick me? I'm sorry that I assumed you were, but we're really similar. So I have to assume. Yeah. I'm really trying to like pick a specific example, but like, I feel like, like one time and I can't believe I'm admitting this. It's okay. No, one, no one's going to say anything. They're not going to tell anyone. There was a guy who said he liked anime. Really? Uh, are we talking about like th things we've done to like kind of like make it seem like we have more in common than a guy, or is this like it, does that fall under the? Um, Just say it, and I'll I'll tell you whether like you're right I like or not. like I got like a like a month long subscription of Crunchyroll. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, and uh -huh. I was like, oh yeah, like my TV. And I feel like my approach to men is is quite different than that. Mm -hmm. I feel like, and this is probably why I push them all away. I like start off so insanely cocky. I love that. Yeah, but it's like a problem. What do you like? Give me an example. Just because there's so many hurdles with uh -huh. me, and you know what may not seem to be a hurdle for someone who eventually w is gonna like you know come into my life, mm -hmm. but like based off of the the data, the data, whatever. You know, I'm trans. That's one hurdle. Mm -hmm. I'm a public figure. Some people don't f with that. They don't want to be seen, right. like, publicly, or, I mean, it's not that I would share that online, but it's just still. Well, look, I, there's just specific, there's specific hurdles that I feel like people have to go through and, like, mm -hmm. have to have a certain amount of boldness to get through. And I feel like that sometimes can make me feel weak or be seen as, like, a, like, too much dirty work for, like, a guy to, like, even want, like, so the, I feel like I project like an over amount of confidence mm -hmm. for them to like understand that like I know that like even though like I may not typically fall in line with what they normally go for like I'm still confident in myself and like sometimes I bring that a little too much so you've actually kind of like never been a pick me I don't know though but I feel like me saying I haven't is in a way but it's like I don't even know I, I need you to give me an example because you started me off and I don't really know. Okay. <laughs> um, you're perfect in every way. And for me, I would say a pick me thing I've done is like maybe in high school when we were playing Never Have I Ever or like a drinking game. When someone was like, never have I ever done this. Like, never have I ever had intercourse. And I was like, ah, prude. Meanwhile, I'd never done it. Something like that. I think my friend was once like I used to like she would like shit in her backyard. <laughs> what? Your friend actually would sh in Yeah, her and I like brought it up in front of guys. Cause I wanted a guy to like me. Instead of her. And did it work? No, he thought we were both weird. Because he was like, why do you know that? Why are you bringing it up? Why? And why are you sh in your backyard? <laughs> did you ever get the context of all in which she lived and what came before her? Um, what happened? Literally, no. She was just like, sometimes I just like to do it and like blame it on my dog. And I was like, that's so weird. Is I'm going to air you kink? out. Is that like a weird... No, no, we were like young. 
So I would hope not. <laughs> and he know. didn't like me after that. Yeah, no, I didn't. I don't think I had a conventional way of being around like men where it was like, like I don't, and I, I honestly like don't automatically assume that someone is an option. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like if I'm at anywhere, like a bar or anything, I just feel like sometimes I'll just stare and just I fuck them and not say anything or I'll just go up to them and be like, too, like a lot. But I guess that's like a pick me in its own way because it's like, girl, calm down. Girl, I think you just know what you want. You're bold. But it's like, like, I don't. Like, it's like, someone asked me what my type is. I'm just like, oh, God. <sighs> Yeah. I yeah, know. you know. So, it last episode, up. we were like, we're going to find the love loves of our lives tonight. Did, Did you meet anyone that night? Because I left I early. I met someone online who I actually f*** with. Okay, so that night? That night. <gasps> okay. So maybe you did meet the love of your life. And maybe I did too. I, just I didn't meet don't him in person though, but like But like you got, met him. We got connected. Aw. But like talking about like unconventional ways of like I wanna like kinda shift this because like I obviously didn't grow up in like a conventional way. Mm -hmm. Um and everyone has like their differences. Everyone grew up in their own different way. I think I mean, I'm, I'm like except for everyone in Temecula. They all right. grew up the same way with the same parents. Correct. I wanna talk about Elon Musk's trans daughter okay i didn't know this was a thing oh i did i just didn't hear what he said you knew he had a trans daughter i've been i knowing. had no idea mm -hmm. first of all i'm like okay that's kind of everything me thinking right. that he's like a supportive dad mm. and then like first of all imagine growing up i think she's pretty young so it's like i feel like when tesla started popping off she was like a still a kid mm -hmm. like like a kid kid right and not only was it, like, I'm sure she wasn't going to, like, public school as well. And I'm sure it wasn't, like, it obviously wasn't, like, a fame thing. But it was, like, a status thing. And then also at the same time being trans. Your dad being Elon Musk. Yeah. And then now you're, like, growing up into adulthood. He randomly, out of nowhere, like, in the beginning, I guess he accepted her. Okay. And, like, took her to the gender clinics and, like, oh, wow. supported everything. But then this video comes out of him this week or maybe it was this month. Where he's like, I fell into the trap of the woke mind virus. Damn. And I lost my son. And it was like a serious interview and it was kind of like really sad because it's like these people really believe that like there's a disconnection of like their child. Right. From a puberty blocker. And like, uh, like I made it mm. very known in my parents' head that like, no one died. Like, I literally right. just look different to mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And sometimes, like, that's hard for people to, mm -hmm. parents especially, to, like, yeah. process. But the switch up is crazy. And, like, as being a mm -hmm. father, like, I just feel like, and we, I know we spoke about this on FaceTime, but, like, if you're going to bring a kid into this world, no right. matter where you stand, like, on religion or culture or politics mm -hmm. or whatever, like, how fing dare you, like, not 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 only not support your child, but to remove them right from like any sort of communication. Yeah, and publicly say that about them. I mean, like publicly say my son is dead. And right, and it's just for him to say that out loud is so incredibly dangerous. True, and it's, it's like, true. but like, I can't imagine how she feels. Yeah, I mean, I think she's obviously very very angry. She released a statement recently where she was just like, "Yep, I haven't been in contact with him." I hate him. He said that in a caffeine fueled haze. Swear to God, that's what. Damn. He, yeah, apparently he went on like Joe Rogan or something and says that he like microdoses ketamine every day. That's what I said. That my kidneys failed. Mm. So. Right. And what? everyone's just calling each other names too. It's like yeah. you're so like red pill. It's like so stupid. And then it's like oh the woke mind virus. I'm yeah. like oh my god. When are we gonna stop calling each other names and just accept that like we're humans? Also, we're raise all different. your kid. Right. right. I don't care if she's over eighteen. Like. Mm -hmm. You pop that thing out one way or another. Right. You I mean, like, he didn't, her. but, yeah. like... I know. It's so it's so upsetting, yeah, to have your own father say that. It made me think of, though... Publicly! Like, publicly. on a, like a major interview. Yeah. Like, like not, like, I, just I a can't quote. even... I cannot even imagine, because already she's obviously getting so much hate online for simply existing, but... It did make me think of Dwayne Dwayne Wade, who I talked to you on the phone about. He's this famous basketball player, and he has a daughter. Her name's Zaya. She's a trans girl. She's a trans woman. And 
the hate she got and he, he is so supportive him and oh, Gabrielle Gabrielle Union so supportive he's like I am an ally I love her ally. I accept her ally I accept her for who she is it's so beautiful but people just get online and like try to rip her apart and all she's doing is like being stunning and existing like just making money on brand deals and just being gorgeous so cool to see a father stand up for her daughter like that Publicly, because yeah. you know a lot of i see a lot of women stand up for trans people but i don't see straight men doing it like a lot or ever ever so to see that i was like mm, hope. it's i mean it's like obviously there's a few like ex like there's, of course there are some people but it's like not near but i'm actually as... trying to think of straight men that have openly been like i support trans people and i don't know i haven't seen i it. feel like they just immediately like are gonna like think that like people are think that they're gay or something yeah and the response is usually yeah because male figures personality figures not like heartthrobs like male like personality figures such as like you know the joe rogan's of the world or the elon's like their mm -hmm. their audiences are predominantly male right so I'm it's like you have this whole gang of men that like mm -hmm. you don't want to like well maybe they'll think I'm weird. So it takes like yeah. it takes balls. So that's good on him. Mm -hmm. I mean it's also it's just like his fucking daughter. It's like it's just her kid. Daughter, she's just living and thriving and yeah. being stunning. And yeah. it's just it makes me mad. feel very fortunate. And I like I know that I'm very lucky to have a mother and father who accept me and support me and like it took work mm -hmm. and like it was never there was never like a like no I don't accept you moment ever I think there was just like a gray area and a confusion area mm -hmm. especially in the middle of my addiction because they didn't know if I was like going crazy if I actually meant it got it I mean that kind of like makes sense like, right I'm like I'm on drugs I'm and then I'm like, I'm going to change my gender. It's like, is she going crazy? They're right. like, yeah, we accept it. But like, hey, why don't you get sober first? And I was like, and you're like, okay. I'm like, no. I was like, literally like, no, I'm going to do it at the same time. Nah. Trying to get sober Damn. and starting hormones. That was crazy. That's wild. At the same time. So yeah. I was like, keep in mind, like, I was like actively, like alcoholically drinking mm -hmm. and doing drugs. Right. While I was starting hormones. So imagine what my body was going through. Oh my good God. Yeah. I was a... Like, you think I'm a disaster today? <laughs> I'm like, wait, who said that? Oh, babe, I was, like, like just a roller Fighting coaster that life. was just, like, beep, 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 yeah. beep, 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 So we're going to go and do off our chest. This is a segment where we get something off our chest that's either negative or positive. And, okay, I'm going to let you take this one. Okay. Um. So... This week, right, uh, I talked about it in the beginning of this episode, how it was a doozy. So basically, I think I've talked about it on this podcast before, but basically I have this like channel variety show with my roommate, Harper Rose, and we literally make the most silly, unserious skits you will ever see in your life. Ever. It is, it's unhinged, it's actual, it's silly, it's very dramatized versions of ourselves, like we are acting in it. Anyways, um... So we have that, and I get a DM the other day, and it's a YouTube link, and it says, the message is, dear God, dot, 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 and then the YouTube link. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. You so I the thumbnail first? I click on it, yeah. And then I see a thumbnail of me and Harper Rose, and it was from one of our most recent vlogs. And our most recent vlog, we were on the bed, and we were just, like, talking on my bed. And at one point, I'm trying to, like, move around and like, get comfortable, so I'm on all fours at one point. And they screenshotted that. So, like, these pop in. And the thumbnail says, dumb whores think they're hilarious. And then the title is, untalented L.A. girls sleeping their way to nowhere. <clears throat> How in f***ing sane do you have to be? <laughs> and this was, like, a this was a podcast, right? Yeah. A podcast of just hating yeah. old well, ugly men. That's, that's what they do. They hate on podcasts. So I saw that thumbnail and I was like, mm, that's sweet. So I click on it and Harper Rose didn't even watch it. She was like, oh my God, these losers. I'm not watching it. Which is like good on her. Yeah. Um, I decide to watch it. And I mean, there's like so much I could say about it. They call us dumb whores. They call us insufferable. They're getting so furious at our content even yeah. though it's so deeply unserious and at one point they literally say these people are mentally ill and need serious help and that's interesting that you got so infuriated at just like us existing um and then say that we need help but anyway and also like imagine them like in photoshop like top typing and like dumb, dumb 
Bears think they're hilarious. It was the most like incel scary shit I've ever seen. Talk about mental illness. Right. Have you ever, 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 you fucking rat twat, (laughs) looked in a mirror? Girl, and that's my next thing. Like, listen. So they're coming for our looks. They are like calling me big and whatnot. And, um, uh, yeah, no comment on that because that's kind of the craziest thing I've ever literally seen in my life. Um, but yeah, they're just saying the worst things ever. And I could like pick apart all these things that they're saying about us. But at the end of the day, that video just like confirmed something that we all know, which is that the like the world hates women. Like y'all hate women oh. so much. And like when we dare to be like sexual or confident or unapologetic, like it infuriates these people like yeah. for the ones that don't respect women like it makes them so mad because when we're sexual on our terms not their terms right. they can't f- believe it they're like, like how f- can dare these whores and it's so also funny to me because this is something i've been dealing with like my whole life and i think a lot of like unapologetic confident women deal with like men just get so triggered by us they they can't believe that we're not getting like our worth from them and that we don't need them and that we're confident and we don't, it just like makes them so mad. And I've been dealing with it so much, like the negging from men, the little like sneak disses, them putting me down all the time. It's just, they just get so mad. This was just such a beautiful illustration of that. It really was. It was like, if you could all encompassing, like put that demographic into a video. Like, yeah, it was that. And it it's like, that. it made me think about, I didn't lose my virginity for a while for like a myriad myriad of reasons. But one of the reasons was because I was like, I want men to respect me and I don't want them to think I'm a whore and like blah, blah, blah. And that was some pick me. Shit. I was like, right. I, I, I just like, oh, I just want them to respect me. And like the thing about those kind of men, like they're never going to respect you. Like no. it doesn't matter if you're in the mm-hmm. boardroom in a cloak or on like the stripper pole. Like they're still going to find a way to demean you. They're still going to find a way to dehumanize, dehumanize you. Like. It, it, you can never win. And this was also such an illustration of that because I've talked about on this podcast and on Parallel Play, me and Harper Rose, like, we never have sex. We just don't. Like, yeah. we, so rare. We and it wouldn't, it, it doesn't, yeah. Too. And it wouldn't even matter. We talk about how we never have sex and, like, they're still calling us whores and that we're sleeping around. Yeah. It, like, well, it doesn't, that's the thing. Like, for anyone listening, if you're so scared of men, like, thinking you're a whore, like, thinking less of you for, like, your body, it doesn't matter if you like sleep with everyone you sleep with no one like these yeah. these type of men are still going to call you a dumb or they're still going to demean you like right. every time like it doesn't matter yeah well and also like just the word or kind of right. lost, it lost its meaning Dude. like it like the actual like original meaning was a, it was like obviously a slur right but it wasn't it was for like woman who had sex for money or something was, right like the original but it now it's just you're a or if you wear something a little too revealing. Right. Like where why have we it's it's become such an umbrella term. Mm-hmm. It's just there was no like real solid evidence even is the wrong word, but for them to jump to conclusions and say like insane shit like that. Also Girl, the fact wild. that it was just so long and also you want to talk about a fucking pick me? The yeah. fact that there was a girl. Girl, and like honestly. There was a girl on that episode, yeah. like talking about you guys as well. Oh, like being not, so horrible. Like, oh. I like literally didn't even include her when I was talking because I, honest to God, I, I feel Bad. like em- I have empathy. I'm like, that that sucks. Like, I just, I, like, I can't even, I'm, I'm praying for her. I'm praying for her. I yeah. Know. Yeah, no, I don't think we should spend too much energy on this because I think it's just like a waste was, of breath and we obviously yeah. know that they're like severely 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 insecure and mentally yeah Ill. it's like it's, because I can't like, even get that mad I'm just like uh, you can't like we talk about like how insane someone must be to leave a hate comment girl a like, whole podcast a whole podcast yeah. ripping women apart is like actually it's yeah. like okay babe it's yeah. time to get on the lamictal it's time to stabilize that yeah. mood it's time to like maybe you need to get on puberty blockers you don't deserve testosterone girl uh, th- you can say that again i think i just like we it, need to start sterilizing some of these men yeah it just made me protective for like other women that see that sh- and like internalize it because i yeah. just i lived in that so long trying so hard to prove myself to men and like have them respect me and it's like just stop. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not going to happen if they're like basing your their respect off like what you wear and like your body count. Like yeah. they're never going to respect you. Yeah. Um. No, I love you. I, I love, love you too. And you're literally like everything imperfect. Feel the same way about you. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Yeah.
It is time to make a move, you guys. Love to Play is the biggest online gaming destination, so you can experience the excitement of Vegas anytime you want. And you know what I did? I did that. Girl, me too. I signed up, went on, and I played roulette, and I actually had a blast. You know, I won a few hundred bucks. Had the thrill of my life. I checked out some of the games. The website is very easy to use. Yeah. You played too, right? I did. What did you play? I played Stampede Gold. How was that? It was so good. The graphics out of this world was so exciting. And I love um, elephants. Whatever type of game you like to play, you guys, whether it's a table game, a slot game, a just like a game game, Love to Play has it. So check it out at love to Play. Dot com and you can also claim 50 free spins and this is exclusively for the first 500 users if you use the promo code 6FA on your first deposit so tell your friends tell your family and don't miss out on your biggest payday yet y'all please gamble responsibly 21 plus and if you or a loved one is struggling with gambling addiction please call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net I can't even Speaking tell. Speaking of famous. Yeah, no, the literal fame. I think, like, a funny off my chest is I, like, was getting out of a car, like, while my, like, skirt was, like, bunched in my back. Mm, love. And, like, as I was getting out, I was, like, pulling it out of my, you know, I was sitting down in a car. Right. And as I was getting out, I got paparazzi I know that's and I right. Think that and, and then he, go, he goes, there she is. Oh my god! I'm like, <laughs> like, where are we? I'm like, can you actually yeah. delete me? Like, I was like, <laughs> literally like, picking, literally a like picking my wedgie. Wait, did you see the picture? Well, and then no, I did. I haven't even honestly looked. But and then mm. after I fixed it, I go, you know what? Let's run it back. And then I like got out of the, and then I just started walking into wherever I was going. And then he kept snapping me again. Know, and I'm like, right. wait, no, I actually want the picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, wait, I should have stopped and got his name. Not kidding. Right, right, right. No, I, I gun to my head. I bet he doesn't even know my name i bet he does you know, everyone some, does what some, are you talking about some people actually just give off like the fame vibes and you do and you do as well when i see you strutting a it's, bitch it's loses the her literal breath. fame yeah. i have a positive off my chest please i feel like i'm like so used to doing things outside of the house or like in public environments and like getting ready and glamming going to a bar or a restaurant or whatever mm-hmm. and Paige. My friend Paige Cameron, you guys may know her, invited me over for like a girls night dinner. Cute. And like, I don't remember, like that was so like Raquel game night coded. Oh like, my God, true. It was very like, I haven't had like done something like that in so long. It was yeah. like everyone showed up. It was like six, seven people. Amazing. And it was just, like really intimate. And there was like music playing like on the record Aww. player and like, they were making pasta and it was just like so intimate and cute. And I'm like, am I aging? Number one, why do I like this so much? No, it's the best when you start to like that stuff. And number two, like I just made a bunch of new friends because like I only knew Paige and her roommates. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, that was such a, I was, I think I honestly was going to go out that night. And then I was like, I think I'm so happy right here, <gasps> right literal now. Yeah. Wish I had something. I mean, I could complain about this week. But I'm like practically perfect. I know it's kind of good. Um, you have nothing to complain about. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I th- I think it's weird. I mean, the episode where you I think it was like two episodes ago where you're like you're thawing out. Mm-hmm. I, I just I think that that's so tea right now. Like I think right. that a lot of things are just like like even the car right here. Like I'm just like crying at like a lot of things right now. Mm-hmm. Still, so that's like an annoying thing. I guess I can get off my chest. Like, I cried watching Love Island the other night. Uh, That does get emotional, though, right? Yeah, I just think it's, like, a brutal... Love Island... I I don't watch reality TV, Uh okay? And I, like, had at least 16 people tell me to watch this season of Love Island. So I, like, you know, I bought that Peacock subscription crazy. And I just... I went and I started it, and I was, like, hooked in the first episode because I loved... Like, I loved the way it was, like, set up. I liked the people. Mm -hmm. And I, like, fell in love with this girl um, named Leah. And I think she's, like, the most... She's everywhere. She's she's everywhere. She's, like, slaying this whole whole season. And I I just, like, really... I feel like I resonate with her Mm -hmm. as far as, like, the way I try to, like, present myself to others Mm -hmm. and, like, the type of that she, like, puts up with in the show. It's, like... It's just, I don't know. She just reminds me of me a lot in a way. And, like, Mm -hmm. 
it was last night I was like watching this episode and she got dogged and it was just like obviously these are reality shows and like everything's dramatic and like obviously people are gonna cheat and shit like that but it's right. like at what point because like I've done show like reality television before and like you do at some point have to pretend that the cameras are not there and just live your life right and like if you're gonna like sit there and like look at someone in the eyes and like you know be vulnerable and like work your way into a relationship and just dog someone for television it's just like so it, it, it makes good television but at right. the same time it's like i hate watching girls cry oh she cried yeah like i just i hate watching girls cry i love watching men cry mm, please more of that but only because they never do no yeah, yeah yeah it's like oh so i just i i hate and it's like oh my god like seeing my mother cry like oh, okay oh where's the pasadena bridge i'm jumping oh like ooh. i I literally, literally can't stand the thought of like my mother being hurt and it's mm -hmm. just like I don't know. But I've been watching it and I've been loving it and I recommend you to hop on that train. I uh, it's, it's and no, just Love to, Island was ruined the sober living ruined Love Island for me. That's the, all the girls all would the watch way. at the sober living. Yeah. It was Love Island on repeat anytime I you hear. You know I was remember I was never there. I was never you watching. You were never it. there. I was never cuz I I hated it. I hated when whenever everyone was watching Every, reality it was just TV. Like repeat and then I hear that dun, 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 what is it? Yeah, and I'm it, like oh, uh, oh my god like oh I got to breathalyze someone so Right. It's like okay. Yeah. yeah, no, I could see how that got ruined from you because you just like have like all these girls that just want to watch Love Island. Watch Love Island. I would halfway, bounce. Yeah. I would like literally like I'd come downstairs be like, what are you guys watching? Maybe like Love Island. Uh -huh. I'd be like, all right. You're like, I wouldn't yeah, come I'm out. Till, I wouldn't come yeah. back to like curfew. Like, yeah. Where are you? I'm like, honestly, I was just walking the streets. <laughs> Truly. Anything but Love Island. That's Manhattan Island. Mm. Girl, if I see Love Island, I just think that like someone's going to come in the room and be like, hey, I'm ready to pee in a cup for you. Like that's just like I can't. And, and do it's it. me. And, and, it's you, you. and you go, thank God. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like good. anything to take me away from this <laughs> show. Yeah. Oh my God. The boy. Ah, oh, I just love that. Like me and you would like like do that. Like I like Kate would have to watch me pee. Like I, I always just say, yeah. I, I always say yeah. this sometimes, but like I literally like Kate and I would like go in the bathroom. Yeah. At the sober living, and I'd be like, I'm like, all right. What, what would I say? Cup. Wouldn't I say some and funny shit? or like we would? I'd be like, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. You would always say something sassy and then hand me a cup full of your pee. Warm, and warm, I was like, warm pee. So this is my life. <laughs> so this is my literal life. And then you'd be like, I'm ready to breathalyze, and then you'd fake drinking. And yeah, I'd be like, Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, wait, wait, I, I, I know we've done this before, but I want to do it again. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I just traumatized you. It always I gets unlocked, me. No, because it was just like a. <laughs> And I was like, Trevi. But I did get you the first time. Yeah, and I was like, who is this girl? Like, yeah. why are you faking drinking? Like, you're in a sober living. <laughs> you can't. Also, uh, three years later on a podcast, I, I relapsed. Yeah. <laughs> Every like, other just word. Just joking about yeah. any story. Yeah, it's just sometimes you just. Also, gotta... people thinking we're dead serious when we say we relapse. Also, people thinking we're trans. <sighs> like, I could never. It's actually hilarious that they would ever think in that. In this day and age. In this day and age of the woke mind virus. Oh my god, not the woke mind <laughs> virus. Not the woke mind virus of it all. <laughs> but I want to lean more back into what you were saying uh, about just like the internet. You had a fair point with the like certain Y2K aesthetic, I think. So mm -hmm. I want to hear more about your, your tea on this next topic. So when it comes to people commenting on my body i mean it's so wild because i'm so new to having any fame. type of presence i mean i'm not famous the at fame. all i'm literally not what's lady Gaga's first album name <laughs> the fame Boim. i have been just getting so many comments about a boot this body which you can never touch it's just all the same it's just becoming so unoriginal it's just like i'm big I'm sasquatch they talk about like not only my body i get so many comments that i have they insinuate that like i'm a man a lot lately on my youtube that's my fault no. <laughs> that's partially my no, fault no. that is partially my no, fault no, no i don't and even I, think they I watch really... six feet above which is messed up but they're like Oh, this because I do a lot of uh, videos. Oh, look, mine virus. Yeah, well, I do a lot of videos on my YouTube where I read comments I get from men. I read DMs I get from men because right. I get a lot of crazy DMs from men, and then they'll just be like, "Well, you're 
and flashing your man body in a bikini. What do you expect? And I'm like, okay, first of all, that's a crazy thing to say. Yeah. Uh, second of all, I don't expect me to post a bikini picture and then have a guy DM me saying, I'm dying to smell your farts. Like, th- I didn't right. sign up for that. Yeah, no, no. So I, I am going to troll them if they're yeah, going to say fuck. that. Yeah. Anyways, um, but when it comes also, to like, the-, the moment you sent that, like, you <laughs> consented to, like, public humiliation. <laughs> like, he, this one specific guy, Response to every story, dying to smell your a-hole, dying to smell your nose, need my face in your pee. I'm just like, Holy sh- no, should I give him a chance? I think you should. Wait, because I'm going to respond. Yeah, the Y2K thing, I feel like we are at an all-time high of just everyone wanting to be very skinny. And then at the same time, I see all over my FYP, this is messed up. It's like a, it's an epidemic. Like everyone's like trying to be skinny now. And then like you scroll and you see a woman that's like not skinny. And then the comments are like, oh my God, lose some weight. And it's like, yo, what if everyone stops? Like it's just like- bad on like reels. Cause yes. TikTok like, fi- like oh can like goodness. filter the comments. It's so bad on reels. And it's I just, bad on reels, yeah. I'm just like, uh, and but and I, there's, yeah. there's pressure, right? Like There's so much pressure. I don't know. I just like, I went through a weight loss moment, but it's like even now that I've lost that weight, I feel more, like I feel almost like a pressure now that I feel mm. like I'm more aligned with like, the standard because like I felt like so outside of like the woman's body standard when I was Mm. a little heavier I was like well not even in the in the race anyway Mm -hmm. but now I'm like feeling like I'm in the race right Mm -hmm. and it's like not not even in in, like a eating disorder way you like little things like oh like I don't want to eat like this whole pasta right before we go out because what if I look bloated you won't look fat Trevi it's just like I am now feeling the pressure of old Paris Hilton, like Coke or yeah. like kind of like it's every Y2K ish aesthetic. And it's like fun, like fashion wise, mm-hmm. but like no one wants to talk about that. Like actually literally so many people in the city and in the world are so influenced by like, not only like trends aren't even about makeup or fashion anymore. It's like you, this now applies to your health and your body. Right. And it's this like insidious reward system because so many people right. are complimenting you and being like, oh my God, you look amazing, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh, well, like I thought I looked great before too. And you did look a slay. I, yeah. And then you're like, oh my God, like, what if I lose that one day? Like, oh, what if like people don't say that to me anymore? Or they're yeah. like, oh, like she used to look good. Like I struggled with that for right. so long when well, I did lose a little bit of weight. And like my weight fluctuates, but I'm just fuck, like, same. Me too. I'm just like, again, like I said, what if we just, Shut that little yap. Yeah. Didn't comment on it. I know. That's actually crazy that you brought that specific thing up. Because, like, I used to, like, even when I was heavier, like, I would, I thought I would pull it together. And, like, I did. Duh. You did. I did. No, no, I slayed. But, like, the amount of compliments I get. Mm. And now it's not even, like, people are so shameless with the skinny compliment now. Oh, it, yeah, shameless. Yeah. It's, like, it is. it's just, like, I'm an addict. Right. Right. Okay. And if you're going to tell me something... I'm going to want, like, even even if it's down to, like, a compliment, like, as simple as, like, oh, my God, you look so snatched. It's, like, I'm not going to want to lose that. I'm going to want right. to keep hearing that. Yeah. And it's not in the, in the sense of, like, I am I need to push this farther. It's in the sense of, like, mm-hmm. oh, I have standards to hold up to now. Right. And it just kind of f- with my head in the beginning. Like, now yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit more stabled out to it. Mm-hmm. But it's just, I don't know. It's weird. It's just, like, whatever happened to uh mm-hmm. Hello. How are you? <laughs> it's so different. Whatever happened for... to, I see such a beautiful soul behind those right. eyes. Right. Wh- wh- where's that comment at? But it's different for you because not only you're getting these compliments in person, you're getting them by the droves online. So you're yeah. like getting them from like everything and you're like, wait. People just make sorry. up though. Like I just, I don't know. I'm at this point where it's it's been too long. I know when people are just make up because they're just jealous or mad. First of all, do you ever get jealous? Second of all, I like, I saw a comment that was like, Oh, yeah. Can tell by the shoulders. I'm like, I don't even have broad. What does that even mean? You can, like, tell, like, men have, like, big, broad shoulders. Oh, my God. I'm, like, I'm so bored with you losers. Like, like, oh. I'm like, that's actually crazy because, like, you just made me feel like a linebacker for 0. .2 seconds. And then I looked in the mirror and remembered who the I was. I remembered you're the most stunning genre, Right. So. Um, <sighs> I'm like, wait, do I need to get trap talks? It's all oh, like, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, no, because why was I low-key thinking about and jacking off to that Greek guy Whoa. from two summers ago? 
Or you Why actually... was I rereading our old DMs and being the, like, the also, one that got away? Also, bro, like, we need to change up the linguistics. <gasps> what am I supposed no, to say? No, I'm kidding. No, I'm, people, no, there's no reason anyone should no, ever I'm call No, I'm kidding. I should absolutely not be saying Jack. No, it's off. hilarious. <laughs> and continue to be yourself for the rest of the time that exists oh, ever on planet Earth. Ugh, I'm looking around. No, it's because I'm like, it's like the delusional woke mind virus got me and that's <laughs> so fine. And I'm, I'm so f- fine with that. Like, okay. Yeah. I never want a vaccine for the woke, <laughs> for the woke mind virus. Ever. I know. I'm like, what's up with y'all like hating on vaccines, but yeah. like y'all are the ones that want it for the woke mind virus. D- let's talk about that. But, and let's talk about that. Yeah. Pfizer, run that one up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, because. No, because. It's real it's no crazy. just stop commenting yeah <laughs> please unless yeah. we start getting two views i know <laughs> we're like wait come back but i did get a really nice dm the other day oh and I, I i meant to respond but she was just like i just want to say like it just like wasn't i want to suck your fart yeah i was like and it really just made me cry it was just hi um, it was yeah absolutely Sorry, no because that would be romantic so this girl was just like, she was just like, hey, I just want to say I listened to the podcast and you've talked about, you know, being juicy and just seeing you on your Instagram be really confident mm. was just so helpful for me. And then she was like, but I'm not saying that, like, you, you look bigger. And I was like, girl, you don't even have to do that disclaimer. Like, that's such a big reason why I even, like, started TikTok or Instagram or anything. I just, like, am so happy when I get those messages. Yeah. Because, because it there's is. A, there's a demographic of people, you know in whatever shape or form they come in right. that just are attra- like attracted uh like not uh, not attracted like ma- magnetized mm. to you because you exude such confidence that makes them feel Thank better you. in their own lives you know yeah, i just and like, i think that those messages are going to keep on coming and oh, they mean so much to me you so many people love you are you kidding Ugh. so it's real it's real as i'm just real i don't know it's so funny <laughs> like there's just like when you get into this industry, it's like there's specific people that like who just respond to everything that you do, mm-hmm. and like like I'll never open it because it's like you scare the f- out of me. Yeah, like I think it's so funny just the way that like married men um, DMs. Okay, so let's. Uh, I I really want to touch on that because why why did this married man he responds to all of my stories and one time I click on his Instagram and his pic with his wife like three days ago he posted being like happy 20 year anniversary like you're the love of my life and I was like damn all that changed in three days oh check this one out remember Mm. uh, from two episodes ago when we were when we were talking about like the cheating and all the guy with the kid who was married texted me this week no what he said this week don't know I woke up and it was already unsent unsent wow and I texted I said do not text me we're not doing this period and did he say anything Mm-mm. can y'all just like hang out with your wives like like all right guys we are going to do the unnamed segment where we answer your advice or question inquiry sent to our instagram at six feet above pod if you're not following please go follow because Begging. you're gonna miss out mm-hmm. um but kate take it away with our first question okay the first one is would you slash could you ever live together no baby no <laughs> I care about our friendship far too much. Mm-hmm. We talked about this before moving to LA. Yes, and I also think we briefly maybe might have touched it one of the beginning mm-hmm. episodes. Yeah. But yeah, I have lived with you technically before in New York right. at the Sober Living. Right. I mean, a few times a week we were sleeping in the same room. Right. Um, loved it, but I do think if it happened frequently, yeah. I would rip your head off, vice versa. Right, I'd rip your toes off, like, a whole thing. Oh, thank God I'd fit into smaller shoes. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, so actually, let's live I'm together. Like, I'm not actually, so you're literally just doing me a service. <laughs> okay, got it. Um, no, like, I feel like living together makes or breaks a friendship, and the fact that we also, like, work together. Yeah. We're also just so different, like, our day-to-days. Yeah, our, d- our day-to-days are very different. I also feel like we wouldn't see each other. I know. Honestly, maybe like, we should live wait, together. Yeah. Move to my guest bedroom. Yeah. I'm like, I'm asleep till three. You're just getting home from, like, Pilates. And right. And I leave for the entire day. I'm not back right. till five in the morning. And I stay in my bed. <laughs> wait, let's live wait, together. Let's live together. Okay. Wait, not kidding. <laughs> that would honestly work. No, like, actually. Would we go on tour? It's going to work really well. It's going to work really well. No, because I'm going to have to get, like, we're all going to Oh, yeah, to we're going to actually have to be up at the same time. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. well. I, well, maybe we should start having sleepovers. I, I agree. I think it I would need be, to come over more. I agree. I always I have think fun it's when actually I go really over. weird and shady. 
I know. Well, we're hanging out. To, I'm literally so excited that yeah. you're coming out. It's a dating comedy show. So we might get set up tonight. We might find the loves of our lives tonight. Yeah, so that's kind of crazy. Because <laughs> as soon as I walk on the stage, someone's going to go, Sasquatch. The way I literally I said, I said I, that to Gabby, my roommate, I was like, I'm going to get a call on the stage and someone's going to call me big. And she was like, Kate. And I was like, sorry, it's been a hard week. Yeah. So I'm really scared, but I hope that they do because then I can blast them. I would come on stage and we both just beat them up. Yeah, no, no. Okay. You love a beat up. You love a beat down. You're like, we didn't even have to do that. I just you had to add that. You love a beat down. Beat zion. Okay. Honestly, I just really want to hear your answer to this. Okay. Gay son or thought daughter. Um, gay son that turns into a thought daughter. Slay. Because personally, my poor father had to deal with both. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and my poor mother, honestly. Okay. Yeah. That was a pretty good answer. That was. You didn't expect that. Like I can't even answer it now because that answer was too good. Yeah. But I'm going with thought daughter. Or thought daughter that turns into like gay, gay son. son. Yeah. Like I've been dealing with heavy depression for the last couple of weeks. What do y'all think I should do? Ketamine therapy. <laughs> I'm a young male and I'm worried about going to a therapist. Go. Yeah, I think that's the first thing. Like, no one's going to find out that you're yeah. going, and it literally cannot hurt. And you yeah. can tell your therapist that you are so scared of going. Yeah, and they can unpack why. Right. And maybe you'd learn a lot about yourself. I right. think that's, like, a great first step, especially, like, I would rather you do that before, like, taking pills or, like, right. doing anything that's, like, you know, on the more psychiatric side. Like, why don't you go have a conversation, an anonymous conversation with yeah. someone who's not going to judge you at all, by at the way. So all. if that's something you're worried about, they do this for a living. They've right. seen... All sorts of different types of people. Okay. Had sex with two brothers at the same time. That's spread crazy. rumors. <laughs> spread rumors and hated on me. My boyfriend of two years stopped being friends with them. As soon as I left for California, he went behind my back and hung out with them. Like, Why is he hanging out with people that try to slander your name when you were just trying to bust a nut? Right. You're just trying to jack off. <laughs> You're just trying to jerk off. I'm just off. like... No, you said Jack, and that's so... Is there a difference? Yeah. Okay, so I think we helped her. I think we lot. really did. I think we did, yeah. like, a number on her. Your like... boyfriend shouldn't be hanging out with any of your ops. He should be no. blocking them and pretending they don't exist. Especially if he knows. For Especially sure. Especially if they spread rumors about you. How is is that that they spread rumors about you after hooking up with you? I hate Plus, that. I'm kind of, like, actually just really, like, feeling a little jealous and grateful. Mm. Two amazing things yeah. happening at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you grateful? I'm so grateful. Really? Yeah. I'm grateful because I have my period and I'm in good spirits, aren't I? Yeah, that's crazy. So that's cool. I'm not. Uh, so true. So true. I'm so grateful that you're coming to a comedy show with me tonight. I've been wanting oh. this to happen for so long. And you're going to meet my friend. You've already met my other roommate. So I'm really excited for that. Oh, fun. And I have like a little crush at the comedy show, I think. Oh. So you can see him and you're going to be horrified. I can't wait. Wait, can um, I chime in? Yeah. I think I met Morgan J the other night. No way. What, at Tenants? Does the he... night I was there? No. After. Do you love Tenants? Um, I think he was there. Did you say hi to him? No. He like asked if I was in line and then he like looked at me like this and like. And he was like, oh my God, a goddess. No. And. But then he was with a girl, so then I was like, wait, I think this... Girl, no. I wonder but if it was his... I don't know. It, it, I really don't know if it was him. It was, like, dark. It was I like feel a... like you would know. And if he looked at you I like think that, it, I, think I, it, think it, I think it was. I think it was. I'm also grateful that I... Yeah, I'm just going out more, and uh, I'm yeah, grateful really that I'm a strong bitch, and I had my first, like public shaming if you will and um, right. i'm doing fine it's like the fame initiation of it all like i think you're gonna do just amazing and sweetie. i love how people were like this is just the beginning and i'm like yeah. okay damn you're like yeah damn right it is yeah well wow true yeah this is just beginning of a beautiful career i am very grateful that i also i'm going to this comedy show i don't really know what to expect out of it i am just grateful that i I'm at a place where I can tap into my emotions and not feel extremely blocked. And like, yeah, that may have f***ed up my concealer a little bit on the way here, but a little powder puff to the under eye never, never, never not fixed anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just, I'm feeling, you know, it's not even like roller coastery. It's just like, I'm feeling, feeling human. Yeah. And that's good. It's a good thing Period. to be grateful for. Um, I saw my dad. That was fun. Had a good time. Ate some good food. Uh, 
but we love you guys. We are obsessed with like, you. Like, actually, so yeah. much. Like, not kidding. And I hope yeah. you like our set. Yeah. I hope we're doing we're doing our, our big one on um, how we can change it, make it more bright for you guys. So mm-hmm. let us know what you think. Love you. We will see you next week. Love you.